Greetings, Keeslings. Keesh from Prime here with my live reaction of My Hero Academia, Chapter uh, 232. I uh, don't have a title yet, but we've got twice, making more clones. Gwomp. Yeah, that is not the sound effect I wanted to hear. Uh, twice multiplies. Uh, yeah, the last time it was, uh, they made it to the tower, but was it the actual twice or was it just a clone that made it with Shigaraki? It was probably, I mean, given the probability, it was probably one of his clones. Um, and, uh, Redestro was kind of just there. It's like, oh, you made it. Um, as you expect, it takes a lot more time to duplicate other things uh, than it does to duplicate myself. But you're duplicating your... Oh, he's duplicating Shigaraki now. You know yourself uh, better than anyone else, after all. What does this say? And he creates uh, copies of his comrades as well. <clears throat> oh, okay. There's a Shigaraki. There's a Dobby, and I can't tell who he's copying now. Um, so, uh, ready to piss yourself and beg for forgiveness, you baldy? He's not really bald. <laughs> uh, there should have been quite a few soldiers standing guard now and below. Skeptic is right. You possess a wonderful superpower. Listen up, you bastard. <laughs> and, like, one of his eyes is completely whited out, and the other one's just got that little narrow pupil there. You are all copies. Okay. Yep, okay, so he, he's made a full squad, basically. He's got uh, Mr. Compression there as well. Ooh, they're still forming on their around their legs. That That's gross. Um, therefore, even if you die... You won't cease to exist. And don't worry, I'll dig your graves. Don't duplicate uh, don't duplicate your leader under the assumption that I'll die. <laughs> uh, repeat after me. We are clones. I swear twice his dialogue's getting weirder. Um we don't die even if we're killed. That ought to make you feel better. Hell no it doesn't, and who's this guy? <laughs> Uh, the first one was Shigaraki and Zebel, and then that was uh, Dobby. Uh, that Baldy you're looking at, the boss of the Liberation Army. What? Actually, uh, wait a minute. You're able to duplicate yourself now. Okay, so compression. <laughs> he's, uh, he's like, um, hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't meet you guys on the way here. I overcame my trauma. But the, the, I don't get why he's... He has the weirdest conversations with himself. Huh? Does that mean you're a duplicate too? Of course not. I'm the real deal. Excuse me. Obviously, I'm the real deal. Enough already. It doesn't matter who's who. At least he's getting over that. Right now, we're all thinking the same thing. We'll put our lives on the line for our friends' sakes. And, oh, well, that clown... He went for Jiren, and he lost his head. Oh, we're going to finally find out more about what Redestro's power is. See, I told you he was a fake. He's like, see, he's a fake, he's a fake. <laughs> I'm the real one. Uh, but your clones are awfully fragile. By the way, do you actually understand that you're still in a hostage situation? Okay, so it does it on his finger, too, it looks like. Or is that just goo? I can't. I think, like whatever marks he ends up on his head, appears on his hands too. Or at least that finger where it made contact. Were you able to see what he did just now? Don't ask me. Okay, Mr. Compress and Dobby's clones. Uh, oh God, I I hate trying to say twice his real name. Uh, Bubai Gawa. <laughs> I swear I screw up halfway through and then it just sounds about <laughs> if you create any more clones I'll kill Giran it was never my intention to kill him since he's not an official member of the league but oh god twice is looking kind of pissed right there 
Don't worry twice, you managed to create this uh, chance for us. It's one versus many. Okay, said the Shigaraki clone. Kind of give him a little pep talk, and there goes Mr. Compression. Ah, I've got the advantage. How? <laughs> All we got is to take Guren back, right? And Davi just went through... Oh, wait, I thought he was going through a clone or something. I was like, why? But no, it's like the little bit of like firepower he can produce. Wait! What? What's... Uh... Oh... Oh, uh, what? Huh? <laughs> His arm is a fucking huge. <laughs> and he just, like, whipped away the fire? Uh, that is not a power I was expecting. He has gigantism. <laughs> um, okay, and shocked faces, we have five that are just twice alone. Okay, giant hand coming for you. Okay, he just wipe them all out in one swipe. You all are just terrible. It's absurd. Oh. His face is covered in a bit more. Like it was mostly just kind of like a little bit of spots around his forehead and you know bit around the eye but no now it's like a solid mass that's kind of forming. So it's probably the more he uses his power the the bigger that's going to form. Kind of looks like a continent. Or a country border. Yeah, it's absurd that you'd even compete in the same... Or we'd even compete in the same ring. Jiren? Wait. What the... Was... Oh, one of the cl... Wait. What the heck? The clone started reforming himself? Jiren! Ouch. <laughs> Oh no, he created another clone. Never mind. I swear, there's so many clones in the... <laughs> Attack of the clones. Um, your fingers. They really are gone. Oh shit. Damn it. Your entire right hand. Not just your fingers. You always smoked your American spirits with your right hand. <laughs> he's like remembering such a little detail about him. It's like he's not gonna be able to make equipment for you guys anymore. I hate to say it, man. I'm pathetic. I leaked my client's personal information. I'm a failure of a merchant. Don't apologize. People who have done nothing uh, wrong should never apologize. As I thought, you were all just playing make-believe villains. If you have an objective. As an organization, unnecessary emotions are but shackles you, that weigh you down. You'll be crushed beneath the Liberation Army's undoubtable will. Or indomitable will. <laughs> yeah, sure, you must have had such lofty ideals. And Shigaraki's going in. I'm not sure when he had time to make another clone. but Or maybe he wasn't actually there when he destroyed them. I, I'm going to go back. Um, let's see. I can tell Mr. Compression. I can tell Dobby. It's hard to tell about these legs over here. But yeah, that... Oh, I'm also realizing going back that that blew out a wall in the building. But yeah. Uh, he might have not... Because, I mean, with so many twice clones going around, it's hard to know which one was a twice clone and which one was the Shigaraki clone. So, <clears throat> uh, still alive, are we? I'm assuming that he just escaped then. Lofty ideals, you say? <laughs> this is a perfect opportunity. I'll measure your worth. You know it's the, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. the more he uses his powers, the more it seems to extend on his face. Because it's looking more like a part of a mask at this point now. Um, once upon a time a woman bore a child possessing a superpower. Oh, he's going into evil backstory now. Um, at the time the people, or at the time the world was in chaos and there was still a strong prejudice against superpowers. Amidst the unrelenting abuse and discrimination, her beloved child was pelted with stones 
day in and day out. But what if the child hadn't even developed powers? <laughs> or couldn't even use it yet? I assume so, if they even knew at this point, but still, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, how, how far back is this at this point? And so, with her small voice, the woman appealed to the world. This is just my child's quirk, she said. We must create a world in which this child can live freely. But her pleas were met with ridicule and buried. And then she got buried. And she never raised her voice against society again. Why, you ask? Because she was killed by the anti-superpower faction. Wait. Oh. <clears throat> I wonder if those are the group that, um... The, uh, that Spinner was mentioning before. Because, I mean, sometimes the translations get, you know, changed. And it's been a couple months, basically, since he first mentioned it. So my memory's probably going to screw me over. And I'm going to forget exactly what he said. But, so I'm just going to blame it on translation. <laughs> and no shit, Sherlock. The mother of quarks, right? Are you playing me for a fool? Mother of quarks? Oh, was that? All for one's mama. <laughs> uh. Oh, how rude of me. I assumed you hadn't received an education. But then again, the heroes the government teamed up uh, with, with the then thriving vigilantes and began to quell the chaos. And they dug up the woman's words for their political campaigning. Superpowers are merely a type of human individuality. Mm, excuse me. They are quarks, in other words. Diversity. It was truly a progressive way of thinking. However, and they're still fighting, blowing out more bits of the... Yeah, and that mask is just more on his face as this goes on. The, uh, I can hear my computer making little noises. <laughs> the legislation they act, uh, actually enacted was the complete and utter suppression of superpowers, even more so than today. They can, sorry if you can hear the coughing in the background. I swear, you say it and then it gets louder. Uh, they can change the name of many times as they want, but it's meaningless. They were trying to... Computer, quit with the noise. <laughs> um, I know what's causing it. I swear, I don't know what it is with that. There, there maybe now it'll quit. Uh, let's see. Let's see, they tried to... They were trying to prevent the use of abilities altogether, but the masses cannot utilize their abilities freely. They will never obtain their true freedom. And thus said Destro. Ah. This is not the future my mother wished for. A, pow a world where superpowers can be called quarks in the true sense of the word. Ah. I guess it's starting to make some sense. And he's still, he, good lord, it, just the way he looks with that giant arm is kind of unnerving. Um, it was an inconvenient truth for them. Yeah, it's spreading to the other side of his face now. Do you understand why Destro's uh, Mirandum sold so well? Um, Resisting the government's oppression and obtaining true freedom, I will carry the weight of those responsibilities and achieve Destro's long-standing desire. I am Destro's descendant. I am the inheritor of his blood, of his will. I am Redestro. Do you truly believe that a gang of street punks with no history to their name, who want nothing more than destruction, are greater than us? Twice. Make a cushion if you want to protect, uh, Girin. Wait. What? <laughs> Make a cushion? Oh. Is he going to, like, somehow destroy the whole tower? After the first attack, I got stuck in the window frame, and I saw him in the corner of my eye. Wait, what? He's coming. Oh. Gigantomachia. <laughs> Um, okay, what, what, it, what is this? <laughs> Knowing him, he'll definitely touch the tower. 
touch. And oh. Oh, wait. Wait. Who is that? Is that. That's not Shigaraki, is it? I can't tell who that is. But they just, just, they just wrecked the tower, whoever it was. Is it just, like, it sent, like, a wave of destruction up the side of it. Straight to the core. And now it's just, it's as if it, like, blew up from the inside, almost. Who, uh, wait. Surely not. Who is that guy? Oh. It was Shigaraki, after all. His outfit changed, and I couldn't really tell it was him. Um, you're human. You're, disposed, you're supposed to die when you fall from a tall building. Are you the boss? Wait. Oh, you. You were that Detnerat commercial. Or in that Detner, yeah, Detnerat commercial. It's been a while since we've actually read the word Detnerat. <laughs> um, well, weren't you? Oh, he's got the full mask now. It's like, it looks more like an actual like Harley Quinn mask now. You lost your chance to hear the answer. Okay, so I'm guessing he's a probably big boy now. <laughs> because it, you, like, you can't see any part of his body, be it it's a bit of a close-up, but still, I would think you should be able to see some like negative space behind him. So I'm thinking he's enlarged his whole body to, you know, survive the fall. They finally clash, but yeah, Shigaraki versus Redestro next chapter, it looks like, and My Hero Academia chapter 232 end. <clears throat> Not a bad chapter. I'll have to reread it, especially that whole Mother of Corks part, but if someone wants to, you know, delve into it a little bit to expand my understanding, please let me know. Um, I'm pretty sure it was probably either Redestro or... Um, all for one's mother that that was talking about the mother of all quarks kind of thing so yeah hmm. but uh yeah I <laughs> that chapter had some interesting bits to it um like twice just being twice is still just fun a little confusing at times like I didn't know the Shigaraki clone had survived um then you had you know him actually showing up and he just destroyed that tower so which, more so to how his power is powering up. I mean, his quirk is evolving on some level. Because, like, he couldn't just do that normally. Like, it was a slow rate of decay before. But now he's just kind of, like, wrecking things on a larger scale altogether. So that that's awesome. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, Redestro has to be able to, like, increase his body mask all over. Not just his arm. Or the other arm if he just, like, switched it out or something, you know. Um, but yeah. Let me know your thoughts on the chapter. Pretty good setup for the boss fight, as it were. Um, so yeah, um... Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Anything I might miss, misunderstood, let me know in the comments down below. Um, Promise Neverland will be coming out shortly after this, so if you're watching. And uh, yeah, uh, I stream on Twitch three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and upload on those days. The next day in the cycle, obviously. Um, it wasn't that obvious, was it? Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, the uh, So yeah. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, here's where you can find me. Links down below. Until next time, Keyshlings, roll out! <laughs>